If I'm gonna pay for something, I'm expecting a service. Like the promos, for example. I'm paying for my channels to be advertised, to be a commercial. I'm not expecting results, but I am paying for a service that I'm hoping I'm getting something in return. Now to her, I think she thinks this is a service that they're, what they get in return is a friendship. Problem is, this is not a real friendship. This is a fake friendship. I was chilling, just laying in bed, relaxing. I always scroll up and down my YouTube and I come across this. This is what J Vibes posted. To receive my number, send me a picture of you and your number. To complete me locking you in, cash app, $5. This rate will only last for 48 hours. You will be able to text me all you want to make a call or FaceTime cash app, $15 for 20 minutes. Only on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. And then she gives the email. And this kind of gave me a bad taste in my mouth and I'm not the only one. I put, I really hope this ain't real. You have other people saying, some of y'all YouTubers are getting wild out here for money. Another one says, laughing my fucking ass off. You charging people to talk to you or text you? Nah, this is too much. LOL, just stay in your lives, LOL. And there's other ones that are just <laughs> confused and what the hell is going on. And then this one says, what in the YouTube back page is this? We gotta pay to interact with you? Damn, at least have a product for us to receive. Sheesh, still vibe with you though. Listen. <laughs> I have an unbiased opinion in this video. And if you're willing to open your mind and your ears, then watch this from beginning to end. I like J Vibes. I really do. We've messaged privately and she, she's really good with interacting with her supporters. Really good. It's pretty rare. So and I think that's why I liked her so much is because she literally tries her best to reply to everyone and on live, she tries to personally try to speak to every single person that messages on the live chat. So she really tries her best and I truly believe that she really wants to get to know her supporters. I do believe that. But this threw me off. I'm not gonna lie to you. This threw me off and I'm honest. I'm honest with my opinion. And I know a lot of you guys are her supporters as well because I am a supporter, but it's okay to let someone know what's a bad idea. And I think this is a bad idea. Now, from a business perspective, I think it is brilliant. I do believe so. I think it's very smart. Um, I think it's thinking outside the box because I've never seen this before. Never. And I'm 34 years old, okay? And YouTube has been around for I don't know how long because I just got into YouTube just a few years ago. I've never seen this before. Now, you have people like let me give you an example from years ago. Years ago, let's see if you guys are old enough. You have Mike Jones giving out his phone number. Mike Jones! He gave out his phone number for free, where his supporters, his fans can message him at any time. He's not gonna reply to every single one of them, but he'll reply to some. And that was such a big deal. Everyone was like shocked. A lot of celebrities were shocked that he did that. But his intentions were good. Now, like I said, from a business aspect, I think, I think that was very smart of her. Might as well make some money and also make fans and supporters happy as well in return. But I also feel it's taking advantage of them. And let me explain why. Before y'all jump the gun, before y'all attack me in the comments below, let me explain. Actually, you know what? Let me not explain it yet. She went ahead and went on live and I watched this prior because I wanted her to explain herself and I wanted to understand more than anything else. And I still have my opinions. Shit! Hi! Okay, hey, hey, hey. I need to explain some things because some of you guys got to stop. Some of you guys ain't understanding. No! Okay, <laughs> listen Linda and Steve and Ashley and Jacob. And Bliss. I have a new... Phone. Okay, girl. Okay. Business phone. Business it's phone. Now where you gonna be seeing people names and stuff? I have a new phone, right? Boom. Should I wait till more people get here? Okay, let's wait. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, a like. I'm out of breath. Okay, I have a new phone, right? So yeah, I can go live. I can turn on super chat. You know, I can 
post videos. But this is the thing. It's some people out there, and it might it may not be you. And that's cool. But it's some people out there that really want to talk to me, like, all the time. They really want to connect with me. They really want to see my face and only my face and they don't want to see a whole bunch of comments they don't want to be ignored and they want to have my individual time and that's a fact hi thank you so much so guess what you have those who are just supporters and don't really care too much for private conversations and then you have those who are supporters and want to have private conversations, if it's about business or if it's just about just being um, interactive. And then you have those who are super fans, super supporters that really want that from her. They really want that one-on-one. -on -one. Makes sense. I am giving out my number. I'm giving out my number and you get to have this number forever. For ever so it's a one-time fee of five dollars yes it is because you're asking me to take time out of my time to constantly you know respond to you whether it's like text message call whatever the case may be so when it comes to calling and facetiming yes i'm charging because i'm taking time out of my day i agree I'm stopping everything that i'm doing i agree to have a conversation with you for 20 minutes straight. I agree, girl. No interruptions. My cousin ain't going to be in the background yelling. I'm not <laughs> going to be in the club. I'm not going to be at the bar. I'm not going to be at a freaking parade. I'm taking time out of my day to personally talk to you. And for those who just text me, because right now, like, we, we're chatting it up. But this is not for everybody. So I agree with that. She really is taking time out of her life to spend that one and one time with you. Now the problem that I have with that, this reminds me of an escort service. It does. She will be charging people to give them that company, that uh, human interaction, that friendship. And the reason why I do it in quotations is because it's not a real friendship. She's getting paid to do this. And this is why I kind of have a problem with it. It's kind of an issue to me because some of these people will do anything to interact with any any YouTuber, any celebrity, anybody. And if they're willing to pay, that's because they're either desperate for that friendship with her or they just don't have any friends and they just need someone to talk to. And I truly believe that it's not okay to make money off of it, to make a profit off of it. I think it's wrong in so many levels. That's what escorts do. Instead of her physically going out with these people, to give them their company, she's doing it from the comfort of her own home, which is smart, okay? It's smart, but this is somewhat of an escort service. Oh, I don't know why people are getting riled up. I don't know why people are like, throw the whole YouTube away, acting like I'm desperate for something. I'm not desperate for anything. She's I not. I have a whole new phone, a whole new line, and it's kind of, well, it's not a new line, it's an old line, but it's a new phone. And it's kind of like, hmm, what am I going to do with it? You know what I'm saying? And why not? To her, it's a business, and it's a business phone that she's using. By the end of the day, if people are willing to pay for that, that's on them. Like she says, it's not for everybody. It's not, <laughs> okay? If you don't want to be involved in that, don't do it. Don't pay. Don't do it. But some people are willing to do that. And it's, it's up to them to do so. I'm just hoping that they're adults that do that. And I hope they're not underage. Because if they're underage, they're being 100% they're being taken advantage of. Why not? Oh, I'm going to always do me, baby. But why not have supporters that want to? This is an option. I'm not making you do it. Agree. This is only an option. So if you want to connect with me more, you know what I'm saying? We can have them 3 a.m. conversations. Fuck a hater! Nova. We can have them 3 a.m. conversations. We can have them 10 o'clock in the morning conversations. We can have them mid-afternoon. This is for when I'm not online. So... Which I think is going to be hard to do, business-wise. I feel there has to be some type of limit. There has to be some type of number of people that she has to put a, a stop to. Because, this, let me tell you where the problem's going to occur for J-Vibes. 
The problem is gonna occur when people are gonna be calling and texting you, like you said, in the middle of the night, in the morning, throughout the whole day. Now mind you, she works, she has a job, and she's also doing YouTube, and now she's doing this. She's gonna try to save some time for you, people who are paying for this service. And if they're not getting responded quick enough, if they're not getting um, the attention that they need right then and there, there's gonna be complaints. There's gonna be issues that she's gonna come across. And it's not gonna last that long. I truly believe it's not gonna last that long unless, and this is how, it, this is how business is, she has assistants assisting her in responding to these people. Now that would be wrong, <laughs> okay? That would be wrong, but I can, I can only see that happening. If there's gonna be too many people that's gonna wanna be paying for this. And you, you can't cater to every single one at any time of the day. Girl, you work. You have YouTube. You need sleep. It's, it's just not gonna work. As smart as this is, business-wise, you just can't do it by yourself. So when I'm not online and you like, where the fuck is Jay? Why the fuck Jay ain't post a video? Why she ain't been live? Or none of that. You can just text my phone if you got the number, but if you ain't got the number, you're gonna be over there wondering and waiting and just waiting. Like I said, this is not for everybody. This is not a have to, this is not a must. This ain't get my number because I'm going away. No, this ain't nothing like that. This is only for those who want to connect with me on a different type of level. I put some information out on my story, on my YouTube story. I also made like a community post and it's a lot of negative vibes in the community post and I'm not here for it. You know what I'm saying? I'm here to chop it up and keep it real simple, keep it you know, just get straight to the point. It's not for everybody. You do not have to participate. You do not got to spend your $5, 15 <laughs> whatever the case may be. I don't think y'all know, but I have another channel called J Fitness Vibes. And people want to work out with me. And not everybody lives where I live at. So, guess what we're going to do? We're going to do a whole group FaceTime chat. And we're gonna work out together. Like, I think that's so fucking dope. I like, think so too. That right there, that right there is a phenomenal idea. I think that is what you should have been promoting. Not just a fake friendship just to make someone feel special and profit off of it. I think that right there is a great idea. Because she, she lives the fitness style. She, you know, she, her YouTube channel is all about that. And to do like a workout session, it's kind of like a gym membership, but they get to work out with their favorite YouTuber. I think that's special. I think they will feel, I feel like they will feel special. Not only that, but you get to interact with them while at the same time, they're also, they're also putting in a workout, just like a gym, like a gym membership. Girl, that right there is something you should go for. That's a great idea. I have a workout partner, but they're not, of course, physically with you. That's smart. But I think smart. it's dope. I think everything that I'm doing is dope as fuck. And I'm excited. And it definitely is making my day. And I'm glad to be helping make other people day as well. So, like I say, if it's not for you, it's not for you. And that's cool. It's all good. But for the ones that's got my number, the shit is fucking lit. Lit! <laughs> I love her energy. I love J Vibes' energy. She's, she, she's, she tries to be as positive as possible, which can be hard in this cold world. Okay, so I have to respect it. My shit booming. So I don't know who hating, why they hating. A pussy asshole can never stop my grind or my hustle. Damn. I must be a pussy asshole. Because I was definitely one of them that was against that idea. Damn. It's all right. I still like you, Jay. I still like you. I don't want anyone to get confused because I am not against her at all. I'm honest with my opinion with everyone, okay? With everyone. Call, call four of my sisters and my one brother. Call them. Call my parents. Well, I'm always honest with them because I love them and I want nothing but the best for them. If I don't agree with a decision that they're making or an idea that they have, 
I'm honest and blunt and straightforward with them. Doesn't mean my opinion is right, but I'm gonna be straightforward with you, girl. You know, and, and when it comes to Jay, I feel like she has a uh, great potential as an entrepreneur. I think she can go far in life. But when there's a bad idea that I think is being put out there, I'm gonna let you know, girl. I'm gonna let you know, don't take it the wrong way. Just take it as me being honest with you, with my opinion. If you're not the one paying this phone bill, if you ain't the one messaging me, why are you, why are you so pressed? I don't know. I don't know why you're so worried. Well, I just explained myself on why. <laughs> they got it. Like, literally, they got the phone number and everything. Shawty is consistent. Okay. Shit. And that's going to be a problem that you, she's going to have. People are going to keep messaging, messaging you non-stop. They will not stop because it becomes obsessive. And if you're not responding quick enough, girl, there's going to be problems that you're going to be hitting. I, I'm telling you, remember I told you here first. But bitch, if you become my friend, friend I'm going to upgrade you to my personal line. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> and my personal line is free, bitch. Okay. <laughs> See, that, that's her basically telling you, you ain't really her friend, so if you're willing to pay that money, you're getting, you're getting a friend. No, no real friend of yours or no real acquaintance of yours is gonna make you pay to talk to them. Not for real. This line not free, my business line not free, but my personal line is free free. Mm -hmm. I had a few people DM me today and I'm like, oh, you tripping, you get, you get the personal number off the gate. Now, it wasn't. It wasn't a lot of people. It was just this one girl who I know. And Prissy. Prissy P gonna jump my DM was like, text me. I said, girl, <laughs> if you don't take this number. <laughs> I never asked for her cell phone number. I, um, I, did, I did message her once and I, because um, on the video that she promoted our channels, uh, she did say if, let me know where you guys are from so when I am around, let's link up. So I DM'd her and I told her whenever she's in Chicago, hit me up so we can go out and do things, right? I'm, I'm willing to, to network. I'm willing to even create friendships with people. So I'm always down. But I will never pay. And this is why this ain't for me. Like she says, if it ain't for you, it ain't for you. And this ain't for me. <laughs> but yeah, me and Prissy P got some shit coming for y'all. Then you gotta leave. Because I'm not changing nothing that I'm doing for nobody. I'm not. This is what I want to do for me, and this is what I'm doing. And I'm actually enjoying it because look at this girl. This fucking lit. Like look at girl. Look at you though. You're streaming. You're streaming now, but you're so focused on your phone because you have to respond to these people. You have no choice now because you're being paid. Because you're being paid for a service now. They should get the tea before everyone else. Um, we. I mean, I could do that. I can list my videos as unlisted. And then basically the only ones that have the link can watch the video. So I can literally do that. Bam, That's girl. That's a good idea too. Thank you. You see how us entrepreneurs and business-minded <laughs> people come together and think of stuff. And these hating assholes be hating because they be like, damn, I ain't think of that. Now, that idea right there, I also agree with. That's, that's also a smart idea. Let them pay for a service where they get to have a preview of the video before anybody else does. That special treatment, that VIP. That is more realistic. Okay, now, now go ahead and do that, girl. I think that's a smart idea. I'm gonna leave this up for a tutorial so you can know how to do it, okay? So first of all, what you gotta do is you gotta have you another phone. <laughs> You gotta have your own personal phone and then you gotta have a separate phone. Then, when you do that, you know what I'm saying, you gotta see if there's even people out there that wanna talk to your ass because there's some people out there that don't even wanna talk to your ass. <laughs> so you gotta figure that out. You gotta be like, oh damn, you know what I'm saying, do they, do they even wanna talk to me? Do they even wanna talk to me? If they do wanna talk to you, you gotta figure, out, figure it out, okay? Figure it out <laughs> where they at because some people only wanna talk to you on snap. I would never do that. I'm sorry. I'm just not that type. I'm not that type of person to like to take money from people and to pretend to have a friendship with them. I can't do that. And I don't think she's desperate, you guys. I think that's kind of reaching. I don't think she's desperate whatsoever. 
I think this was a business move that she created. It just seems a little bit to me like selling out. Now, I did watch this video, so she did uh, say my name in this video. So let's go ahead and watch that. This is what I wanted to say. So my recent community post that I put on my YouTube, I wanted to explain that. Also, I have put up an Instagram story. I wanted to explain that. And then I got like 26 comments of a whole bunch of confused people. <laughs> Everybody wasn't confused, but for the most part, people was confused. Like Bliss and Pris, which I know this was Bliss. She was like, I really hope this ain't real. And I said, uh, you can DM me for an explanation. <laughs> she didn't reply to my, my comment though. I looked, I even looked back, I'm like, did she reply to it? I, I don't even know. But I checked, as you can see, I got no reply. So basically, I really wanted to know if that shit was real because it sounded, it sounded like something that she wouldn't do. And people are saying, saying that this is a scam, that it's a fraud. I don't think so. I think it's not a fraud because she is stating what it is. Whatever she said this is, it's exactly that. So you're getting what you're paying for, and it's exactly that. So this ain't no scam, this ain't no fraud. If you're willingly, as an adult, wanting to do this, that's gonna be your choice. And if you end up as an unhappy customer, because this is what this is, this is a business, this isn't a friendship, this isn't real. If you're unhappy and unsatisfied as a customer, Jay's gonna have to explain that and she's gonna have to try to make you happy again or you're just gonna have to cancel that service because that's what it is, it's a service. So don't feel special because you're paying for something. This is not something that's special. It's special if she's giving her time to you for free. Just putting it out there. Jay, keep doing your thing, girl. I, I truly believe you're an entrepreneur. I think you think outside the box. I think you're very smart, very intelligent. That whole fitness group thing, do that. That's very smart. I think that's a very great idea. And also the um, previews to your videos before you even upload it to the public. If they want to pay for that service, awesome. I think those two ideas are the best ideas that you have came up with. I think you should keep those and run with it. But that whole fake friendship, let me make you feel special if you gotta pay me this though. I'm sorry, but I don't agree with it. I just don't. I'm still a subscriber, I'm still a supporter. Um, I truly believe in your potential as an entrepreneur. Keep doing your thing, girl. Just this ain't it. This ain't it. All right, you guys, comment below. Let me know what you think. Don't have to match my opinion. I like to read others' views. Comment below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please turn on your notifications so you can get notified every time I upload. And also, please subscribe to Bliss and Press. That's my vlogging channel with my wife. See you in the next video. Peace.